Hello, this is your boy Bill Eshkababa, and today I'm here with another video. So I was just on Hearthstone uh, website, and I saw that they've done a new introducing the heroic tavern brawl. So for people who don't know what this is, this is basically going to replace the tavern brawl for this week. It will probably come back, meaning that you won't get your free pack from the tavern brawl, and that's a big problem. Because this heroic tavern brawl, you actually need to pay either ten dollars or uh, one thousand gold to get in. So you're gonna have to pay that. And what is it? It's basically an arena style, except you get to build your own deck. So it's constructed, but it's arena style, meaning three losses, you're out. Twelve wins until you get kicked out because you've already won twelve wins. So the prizes are pretty big, but the problem with this is that New players won't get their free pack this week. That's one massive disappointment. Disappointment, And you're basically playing just constructed. So everyone's going to be playing either Secret Paladin or Mid-Range Shaman or these OP old decks. Dr. Boom will be in it. Sludge Belcher, Piloted Shredder. All these cards will be in it. And it decentivizes new players. Because a new player, if he pays a thousand gold, and loses three games in a row against these people who are playing Shredders, Belchers, Dr. Booms, he gets one pack. So he basically played a thousand gold for one pack. Uh, as you can see, this here is a list of the prizes that you get for each. So zero wins, one pack, one win, two packs, two wins, three packs, three wins, four packs. It only gets worth it if you get around seven wins. Once you get seven wins, you get eight packs plus the two gold, 200 gold. Then you get what you would have gotten if you just bought the packs. So for any new player or anyone that's new to Hearthstone that doesn't think they can win that many games without losing three, it's not worth it. You're much worth, much worth getting your 1,000 gold and just buying 10 packs. Because if you put in your 1,000 gold and you win 4 games, or 5 games, you basically got 6 packs plus 200 gold, so you got 8 packs. 8 packs for 1,000 gold when you could get 10 packs for that 1,000 gold. So it's not worth it. It's only worth it for the people who know they're going to win a lot. So if you're going to win 9 games, 8 games... 11 games, or the 12 games, because if you win 12 games, you do get 50 packs, plus 3 golden legendaries, plus 1,100 gold, plus 1,100 dust, then it's worth it. But you can, you can pretty much guarantee that anyone who's playing this mode will be hardcore, deep, into this game. You're going to have big people that have all the cards, they have their... Dr. Booms, they have their piloted shredders, they have all their overpowered GVG, you know, um, there's going to be Secret Hunter in there with the Muster for Battle, with the, you know, Shielded Minibot, there's going to be OP stuff in there, and basically you're going to play it, and if you're not up to that level, you're going to get crushed, and a thousand gold is going to go down the toilet. So it's basically a massive gamble where you can guarantee 10 packs by just buying your 10 packs for a thousand gold or you can rush and roulette it on this and you have to win you have to be sure that you can win around six seven games you have to guarantee that you can win seven games and lose three to break even if you can't win seven games if you win six if you win five if you win four you go four and three you lost because you only get 5 packs plus 100 gold. You only get 6 packs if you go 4 wins and 3 losses. So it's not worth it. And so the people who are going to be here are the people who already have a massive library. So people who have a massive library get to it, get even more stuff for their library. And the new players get basically shafted. Because if they go into this, they're going to get crushed by Dr. Booms and stuff. And mid-range shaman and shit. So you can just imagine mid-range shaman with the added power of Dr. Boom. With the added power of piloted shredders. With the added power of sludge belchers. With Nazoth to bring them all back. Um, 
it's absolutely crushing to the new player, and the new player doesn't get a free pack this week, because this brawl replaces the normal brawl, which guaranteed you a free pack and was free to play. So, this seems like a massive money grab for the haves who have the cards and know how to play a good, it's good for them, for anyone who's new, for anyone that was free to play, for anyone who doesn't have all the cards, they get shafted, and the only reason I think that they're doing this is to suck money, suck money out of people, because it's $10 to to go into this brawl if you don't have the 1,000 gold, to suck money out of people, or to suck gold out of people, because we all know BlizzCon is coming, BlizzCon is the 4th and the 5th of November, we know it's next month, it's coming, and we know there's going to be a Hearthstone expansion, or they're going to show off new cards. So if they can suck gold out of people now, with this, then people will need to buy those new cards, or get less packs, and then they want to get more packs, so they spend money on it. Because a lot of people are going to give their 1000 gold into this, and instead of getting 10 packs, they're going to win five games, lose three, and get six packs plus 200 gold. Get eight packs, basically. They're going to get eight packs for their 1,000 gold, and they will have to win five games and lose three, which will be hard because you're going to have OP people running OP decks, people running Dr. Booms and, and stuff like that. So I think that this is a failure. This is a slap on the face for on people. I've spent money on this game. I've bought the um, welcome bundle. So I have no problem spending money on this game. I've bought the welcome bundle. I've bought the uh, pre-order for the um, Whispers of the Old Gods, stuff like that. So I've spent money on this game. I have no problem spending money on this game. I do have a problem with this because this shafts the new people. If you had this brawl, but you also had the other brawl where new people would get their free pack, then it'd be okay, because they would still get this free pack, and this would be an extra stuff. But you're basically taking a free pack from a person this week, and basically saying, if you want your free pack, if you want want to play Tavern Brawl, you're going to have to pay $10 or a 1,000 gold. And if you aren't guaranteed, or if you think you cannot win over um, seven, seven wins then you're going to get shafted. So you're going to have to require seven wins. And this is just a blatant cash grab by Blizzard to screw people over, knowing that BlizzCon is coming up and you're much wiser saving your money for the new expansion that will be announced at BlizzCon or whatever they're going to announce at BlizzCon for this game. Or you're much better off just buying 10 packs. You can guarantee 10 packs or you can rush and roulette it and try and get 50 packs, getting 50 packs for the $1,000 for the 1,000 gold is fantastic, but you're going to have to win 12 games and only lose three with decks, which isn't like Arena where people will have bad decks in there, who will be against people who have constructed decks with Dr. Boom, Piloted Shredders, Sludge Belchers, Mad Scientists, Secret Hunter, Secret Paladin, uh, Secret Hunter is a thing as well, but Secret Paladin with the OP you know, uh, Mysterious Challenger, all these, Muster for Battle, are back. And it is a slap in the face for people who were thinking of playing Tavern Brawl this week and getting a free pack. So that's my opinion. I think it's a cash grab. People might disagree with me. I would think this mode is fine. It would be 100% acceptable to have this mode if the original Brawl was still there this week, or if they said you get one free try on this Brawl to get a free pack. Or if they just gave you a free pack this week because you're losing... Uh, a pack anyway. That's my opinion. It might be a controversial opinion. I think some people will love this this brawl, but I think that a thousand dollars, a thousand gold, or ten dollars to try out this brawl and to get stomped because some people will just run insane decks and stomp you. Um, I mean, a thousand, a thousand, um, a thousand gold, and if you lose three games in a row, you basically played a thousand gold for one pack when you can take that thousand gold and guarantee yourself 10 packs because that's what they cost. So that's my opinion, controversial one. Tell me what you think about this Tavern Brawl. Do you think it's good? Do you think Blizzard should have given you the free pack anyway? Please do not forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Comment down below, am I right? Am I completely crazy? It's okay. Uh, this has been your boy, Bill Eshkavava.